Hello again my friends, welcome back. Today I'm really excited to start a brand new Let's Play series of Lone Echo. Believe it or not, I have never played this classic VR game before. I'll be playing on the Valve Index using Revive, and it seems like so far, out of the box, the controller mapping works out pretty well. So, without further ado, single player, new game. Anyway, all mining sites are running smoothly. Overnight harvest totals are a bit lower than I'd like. Oh, we had some sputtering on the number 12 RCS thruster, but Jack and I managed. Oh, Jack. Good. Hold on a tick. Hera, pause recording. Acknowledged, Captain Rhodes. Morning, sunshine. And how are we feeling today? Jack, are you with me? Hera, let's go ahead and run Jack's calibration program. Acknowledged. Right. In you go, Jack. I'll see you in a few. Wow, so far the graphics are really great. Module D221, Manual Dexterity. I am Hera. Central AI for the Kronos 2 Orbital Mining Facility. I will guide you through this calibration program. First, close your hand to form a fist. Now extend your index finger. Good. To proceed, use your index finger to press the hollow button in front of you. Now reach out and grab the glowing disc that just appeared. When you are ready, Throw the disc into the goal in front of you. <laughs> Almost. Target missed. Press the hollow button to recall the disc. <laughs> Ding! Please try again. There we go. Bullseye. Target hit. Excellent throw. Calibration module complete. Please stand by. Module M101. Basic motor functions. Please pull the handle above you to exit the activation pod. This labor unit will guide you through the module. Now carefully follow it by pulling yourself through the environment using any solid surface. What about flat surfaces? Oh cool, great. Yeah, the controls feel really nice. Please follow the labor unit to proceed. Please take your time and follow the guide. Right behind you. Now carefully pull yourself forward and release to glide to the exit. Calibration module complete. Module M205, maneuvering thrusters. Your hands are equipped with maneuvering thrusters allowing you to move more freely in zero gravity. Activate left thruster. Activate right thruster. Now please exit the activation pod and use your maneuvering thrusters to reach the door ahead. Thrusters. Thrusters can be used in short bursts or held down for continuous usage. Cool. Please press the hollow button near the door to proceed. Good. Now navigate the environment using only your maneuvering thrusters. Do not grab any surfaces during this test. Going fast. Okay, that was close. <laughs> Almost hit my head there. Calibration module complete. We're learning. Module C-111. Communication. We will now calibrate your communication system. When someone speaks to you, a reply notification may appear above your wrist. You may then respond by holding down the dialogue button on either hand and selecting a reply with your index finger. Hold down the dialogue button now. Input confirmed. 
Now hold down the dialog button and select a reply. Understood. Understood. Good. Continuing calibration. Often, you will have a limited time to select a reply. In these cases, silence is considered a viable option. Do you understand? Yes. Acknowledged. I'm ready to proceed. Understood. Continuing calibration. Now exit the activation pod and move into the room ahead. You can also initiate conversations at points of interest throughout the world. If you look at certain people or objects while you are close to them, their name will appear, and an icon will indicate that you can use the dialogue button. You may then hold down the dialogue button and select an option, just like a reply. Now start a conversation with the labor unit, and speak about the Fury transport model in this room. Unit 42, what is your primary directive? To assure the safety and well-being of Kronos 2 station personnel. Who serves aboard the Kronos 2 station? Captain Olivia Rhodes and you, the prototype Series 11 android designated as Echo 1. Okay, so we're done talking to him. Please talk about the two points of interest in the room to continue. Points of interest... Um... Oh, this thing, okay. A Mark I Fury transport. 148th scale. Be advised, while real Fury transports can be used to travel to distant locations across the Kronos 2 station, I do not recommend attempting to ride this one. Noted. Communication system fully calibrated. Would you like to proceed to the next module? Yes. I'm ready to proceed. Acknowledged. Please stand by. Module A-131. Data Scanner. Error. Calibration program failure. Stand by for reboot. The directors have been pushing to make fully automated deep space mining the company's top priority. Your Echo unit is the perfect subject for our initial test runs. This is crap! I'm one week from leaving and you're just now telling me Jack's not coming? <sighs> Command wants the Echo... Jack? Sorry, I have to go. Kronos 2 out. Jack? What happened? My calibration program crashed. I appear to be stuck in the activation pod. That's odd. Your diagnostic programs never just flat out crashed before. It must have suspended the pod's release procedures. In the event of activation pod failure, Titan Protocol recommends performing a complete power cycle of the pod, followed by a level 3 inspection of... Ha! You're set. That works too. Listen, about my conversation with Command, how much did you overhear? Um, how much? Not much. Well, okay... I'm, I'm just going to put it out there. You're no longer coming with me to Ceres. What do you mean? The directors want you to take over my duties as commander of the station. It'll just be you and the labor units. No humans. So this is our last week together? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Look, I... They just... Hit me with this news a few minutes ago. I mean, come on, splitting us up? I, I never even considered it a possibility. I'm not entirely sure what to say. Except... I'm sorry, Jack. Oops. <laughs> Didn't mean to use my thrusters there. There's no need to apologize, Olivia. While the situation is... unfortunate, it's not your fault. Come on, then. No sense putting it off. Let's get our last week started. Why don't you go activate the bridge while I pull the overnights? Copy that. 
Okay, so it seems like I'm free to roam now. I can talk to her. Swear monkey? <laughs> what? What if I report swear monkey? There we go. Your swear count is not increased for nearly 10 hours. Congratulations. Oh, quit playing with that damn thing. I mean, shit. Never mind. I'm gonna ask her. You seem upset. You're getting way too good at reading human responses, you know that. Well, I have had a few years of practice. Yeah. It shows. Alright. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> Alright, so we want to get to this thing over here. Yeah, so far I'm in. The revive controls work great with the controllers. Um, this seems like a really cool game. I'm in. Uh, activate. Transitioning to daytime cycle. I'm really going to miss this part. I'll get started on the morning checklist in a bit. Just give me a moment to soak in this view. Take your time. Bulldog, huh? Trying to get it highlighted there. Report Bulldog. Why do you find these creatures appealing? Bulldogs are a symbol of the British spirit. We don't want to know when the odds are against us. Ah. Sounds familiar. Oh, shut up, Jack. Bobblehead. Memorial plaque. Will you get a plaque to commemorate your own tenure as captain, Liv? What? Why would I get a plaque? The first captain of this station received one, and your performance has exceeded his by every metric. That's not really how it works, Jack, but I appreciate the sentiment. This model is meant to depict an S-8 labor unit, is it not? That's right. Why? Is something wrong with it? No, I assume that its exaggerated proportions are meant to be humorous. Well, yes, but if you have to explain the joke, it, it kind of ruins it. I see. So, Jack, I suppose congratulations are in order. For what? For your promotion. There's really no need for that. Come on now, it's a big deal. In a few days, you'll be Captain Jack. So, congratulations, Captain Jack. What I mean is, as an Echo Unit, I hold no official rank. So, technically, I can't be promoted. Right. Well, that's too bad. Captain Jack has quite the ring to it. Also, you are the only person who calls me Jack. To everyone else, I am merely Echo One. Is that your way of saying you're going to miss me? I have no... What was that? Jack, did you feel that? What the hell? P please tell me you can see that. Way out there. Affirmative. I see it. Any idea what it is? I'm afraid not. There are no records of any such phenomenon in the Atlas Interplanetary Database. It is an anomaly. What the... Jack, are you alright? I believe so. You were glitching out. The disturbance briefly disrupted my internal systems, but I'm not reading any permanent damage. Liv, it's possible that anomaly is not entirely stable. You think? Priority alert. The hollow table. Something's wrong. I'll investigate. Hera, initiate broad spectrum scan. Hollow table. Focus on the following coordinates. Oh, cool. Activate. Hera, status report. Multiple tier one malfunctions detected. Isolate and identify. Acknowledged. Isolating. 
Awaiting input. Oops. <laughs> Saturn orbital zone beta. Orbital mining facility. Designation Kronos 2. Central mining station. Hmm. The red thing. Malfunctions isolated. That is a lot of red. Perhaps it's not as bad as it looks. Ground fault recorded in the cargo bay. Possible circuit overload. Reading marked temperature increase in the core containment chamber. Lockdown procedures in effect. Power failure reported in primary oxygen garden. Emergency failsafes triggered. What, that's it? That's all we've got to go on? Hera, can you give us an in-depth scan of each affected area? Negative. Unable to establish communication with cube satellites. Wait, we lost the cube sats? How the hell did we... Oh, forget it. Let's just have a look for ourselves. Where are you, you little bugger? <laughs> little bugger. Ah, here we are. Jack, could you do us a favor and scan this cube sat? I'll need to calibrate my scanner first. Stand by. It'll only be a moment. Calibrate scanning tool. Please initiate manual input on your ARM computer. Module A-131, data scanner. Your scanning tool allows you to collect data on anything in the environment. Please exit the pod to begin calibrating it. Please follow me to the disk spawner at the back of the room. Now activate your scanner by pressing the button on top of your hand. Both of your hands have this functionality. Okay. Good. Now aim the scanner at the I.O. port on the disk spawner and hold the trigger to initiate a scan. <laughs> After scanning something, its name will appear next to your hand on the scanner's data tab. To see the results of your scan, grasp the tab and pull it away from your hand. Pull the data tab now. Oh, Excellent. that's cool. Use the button on top of your hand to deactivate the scanner now. Okay, I can let go of it. Good. Okay. To complete this module, gather scan data on five other materials or objects. That's cool. Okay, what else can we scan here? You? Initiating human sarcasm. I thought we were friends, Echo One. Four three scans remaining. Two scans remaining. Uh, what else can we scan here? No. One scan remaining. Okay. That doesn't count. What else? Hmm. I think I did the disc already. You must scan additional objects or materials to complete this calibration module. What about me? Can I scan me? Calibration module complete. Cool. Please stand by. All set? Scanner fully calibrated. Heads up. Give that CubeSat a scan. See if you can work out what's wrong with it. A lot of data here. Okay. So... That wasn't useful data. Do I scan another part of it, perhaps? Scan complete. Right. Well, what's the story? There we go. According to these readings, something was disrupting the CubeSat's ability to communicate with the rest of the sensor network. Was? My scanner appears to have reset the CubeSat's transmitters and restored the connection. Oh, well. Problem solved. All you have to do is find and scan every last CubeSat we have scattered across the entire facility. Sounds like fun. Oh, of course, it would to you. I'll send an objective to your ARM computer, but consider it low priority for now. 
Objective received. Right then, on to the real problems. What do you think? What's next? Oops. Harris scan of the anomaly will likely take some time. Perhaps we should get started on repairing those malfunctions. Good idea. That anomaly's certainly given us plenty to do. I count three tier one malfunctions that need our attention. I'll need a few minutes to pull today's command codes off my console. You can just keep yourself occupied till then, I'm sure. Of course. New objective. All right. Scan the IO ports of all CubeSats facility wide. Oh, there's a lot of them. Okay, Jack, I'm all set. Let me know when you're ready to get started. Let's do it. Slowly making my way to you. Ready to go. Ready when you are. Come on then. Let's go sort out those malfunctions. Not the best way to start our last week. Don't believe we've ever seen this many malfunctions all at the same time. Oops, trying to talk while holding. <laughs> we've also never had an unidentified spatial anomaly suddenly appear directly off our port bow. It's a day of firsts, really. You do realize it's possible we just made a groundbreaking scientific discovery. Well, let's not go writing our Nobel acceptance speeches just yet. Or well, at least, not until we're certain the station isn't going to fall apart. Ah! What the- Warning. Unsecured cargo in the hold. Yeah, that much I worked out. Can you tell me why we have unsecured cargo in the hold? Negative. Okay, well, we might want to look into that. All right, Jack. Looks like there's a lot to do this morning. Any priority alerts? Well, it'll be your station soon. What problem do you want to tackle first? Send the data to my ARM computer. I'll have a look. Let's see. Take a look at your objectives on your ARM computer and let me know which one you want to address first. Oxygen garden. Let's fix the power failure in the oxygen garden. Okay, follow me. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Looks like the power failure knocked out the door to the oxygen garden. I'll pull the manual release. <sighs> and of course, the access panel is stuck. <sighs> Jack, I think you're going to have to cut through. I'll need to calibrate my reactive cutter first. Right. Considering the power outage, let's also calibrate your entry light. All right, more training. Here we go. Calibration ready. Please initiate manual input via module A901. Reactive cutter. Please exit the activation pod and proceed to the door ahead. Activate your reactive cutter by pressing the glowing touch point on the underside of your wrist. Highlighting cuttable surface. Use the reactive cutter to cut through the highlighted brackets. Cool. There we go. Cutter functionality test complete. Lift open the door to proceed. Nice. Highlighting cuttable surface. Use your reactive cutter to cut out a portion of the highlighted panel. Once you have cut away enough of the panel, press the hollow button to complete this calibration module. Calibration module complete. Please stand by. 
Module H-144, Helmet Visor. You can open and close your helmet visor by pressing the button on the left side of your helmet with your index finger. Please open your helmet visor now. <laughs> I'm trying. Left side of my helmet, right? Now please exit the activation pod and proceed to the room ahead. Okay, that took me a while to figure out. At least with the index headset, I have to really reach under, almost like I'm hitting my cheek. It was kind of a tricky spot there, but we did please find pull it. Please the release handle okay. to exit the activation pod. You can activate your headlamp by pressing a button on the right side of your helmet. Right Once your side. headlamp is on, shine it on my location. Well done. I am moving to new coordinates in the next room. Find me and shine your headlamp on my location. <laughs> Come find me. Spooky. There you Excellent. Are. Please press the button on the right side of your helmet to turn off the headlamp and complete the module. Calibration module complete. Reactive cutter and headlamp calibrated successfully. Copy that. Cut through the access panel so we can pull the door release handle. Ah. <laughs> Excellent, follow me. Let's get started. <laughs> A little clumsy there. Hmm. Hope you're not afraid of the dark. Can you use your headlamp to help me find the electrical grid maintenance panel? Affirmative. <laughs> maintenance panel, here we go. Olivia, I've located the maintenance panel. Perfect. Keep your light on it for a moment while I remove the cover. Heads up, Jack. Coming through. <laughs> it looks like we've got some fused wiring. Status report? The short caused a full system crash. We'll need to reset each of the environmental controls. Can you find the emergency junction while I sort out this mess? Alright. Find the emergency junction. I see a flashy thingy over there. Oh, that's a bot. Well, I should at least scan it while I'm here. Uh, yeah. An encrypted audio file. Curious. When the anomaly scrambled the CubeSat, it inadvertently connected them to a secure Atlas Corporation network. If I scan more of them, I may be able to crack the encryption. Let's get the junction online so we can start the diagnostics. Here's another one. Oh, no, it's duct tape. I thought that was another bot. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I can't see my sub goals here. No, I can. Emergency junction. Yeah, that is what she said. There we go. Okay, cool. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Great. I'm learning. Junction center. I've reached the junction cover. Did you bring a spanner? Just cut through the bolts. We can deal with the cleanup after we figure out what's wrong with the station. Affirmative. Going hot. Going hot. Electronic interface. I'll need to use my scanner to link up with the I.O. port. Emergency power online. The backup conduit only has enough juice to diagnose one system at a time. Go ahead and get started when you're ready. 
And then... Okay, do that, and then we go over here. Flow control cover. The alert must have shut down water flow to the hydroponic systems. It's designed to seal the main reservoir in case of a breach. You'll need to pump the handle to restore Oops. pressure. <laughs> there we go. Wait, which way does it go? Up or down? Oh, I see now. <laughs> okay. There's a graph here. That's it. Okay. All right. Water flow restored. Irrigation system within operating parameters. Good. That should help keep the plants healthy. Okay. Use the junction to select another system. Oh, I didn't do this yet. The O2 mixture is off. I'll need to adjust the levels of atmospheric okay. exchange. Careful with that, Jack. One of us still has to breathe the air here for the next few days. These controls adjust the balance between oxygen output and CO2 capture. I'll need to redirect power from the junction first. Okay, I get it now. I get it now. Maybe. <laughs> there we go. Right. Oops. Okay, oxygen balancer. Okay, there we go. The air composition needs to stay balanced, Jack. Bio regenerative systems calibrated. CO2 capture optimized for both plant and mammalian passengers. Mammalian, huh? How flattering. Apologies, Liv. I didn't mean to sound clinical. Once I'm gone, you'll probably be able to shut down this part of the way. I think I'll keep it, actually. To add color. Jack, you aren't starting to enjoy botany, are you? Is that unusual? Depends who you ask. The transformer can't form a complete circuit. We probably need to realign the coils. Run a scan to confirm. The coils have been damaged. Hmm, shit. Unlock them so we can get a closer look. Conversion coils unlocked. As long as we can still form one complete row, we should be able to get the transformer back online. One complete row. So... Like this? Hmm. Yeah, what are we trying to do? Oh, look at the screen, not where the shelves are. Okay. <laughs> I thought there would be a way to move these blue things. Let's try... Okay, I think I get it now. Power current stabilized. Conversion process successful. Current strong. Nice job. Once I finish replacing these wires, we should be able to get the lights on. Hera, verify all oxygen garden subsystems. Subsystems within normal parameters. Right, I'm about done here. Do you see the access panel near me? I do. Do I do this to it? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, talk about it. Report. I see the access panel. Good. Okay. You'll need to wait and throw the main breaker on my mark. Got it? Acknowledged. I will await your command before throwing the breaker. There we go. Now I can do it. Okay. Removing utility cover. Please stand by. I've got to pump the primer handle before you throw the breaker. Let me know when you're ready and I'll count us down. On your command. Acknowledged. Throw the switch in three, two, one. I'm clear. 
Oxygen garden operational. Environmental control systems restored. That's one more system we don't have to worry about. Hopefully it stays that way. Don't jinx it, Jack. There's no wood to knock on around here. To cargo area, let's go. Well, there's still the ground fault in the cargo bay and the temperature spike in core containment. What's next on the agenda? Uh, let's decide... Cargo bay. Let's get the cargo bay squared away. Okay. Follow me. One of the cargo banks must be malfunctioning. We probably blew a fuse. I'd start by checking the fuse compartment at each cargo bank. Hera, unlock them, please. Just don't pull any good fuses, or we'll have loads more cleanup to do. Alright, I think this is a good place to leave for today. I'm totally in. The atmosphere is top-notch. It's a cool narrative. I'm totally in. I'm excited to continue this Let's Play. Thank you for joining me, and we'll catch you later. See ya. Bye. Well, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. See ya.